Hey, welcome back to the Sanders Kitchen. I'm Mike. Today we're going to be doing a recipe. We've already done a gumbo, a seafood gumbo in fact, but this one is a little different. I cooked this on TV. Well, I would like to say with Frank Davis, but he was sick that day. So Mary Claire and I cooked it together and it came out great. But this recipe is a little different. It's got some sausage in it. It's got a lot of great ingredients and I'm adding a little green onion because I love green onion. So don't beat me over the head. Yes, I am changing it a little bit, but you know, it's all good. So let me show you what's in the recipe. The ingredient list will be in the description, but we're going to start off with onion. We have green onion tops and bottoms, celery, garlic, some parsley, uh, we have some smoked sausage. Now, you'll notice that I have some that are chopped up and some that just are in slices. And the reason for that is because we want to fry this down and then later we're just going to put this in and it'll, it'll give it a different flavor altogether. Now, here we have some vegetable oil. This is the roux that you'll see the video on that. I'll leave a link in the description for that. And then we have some frozen okra. Um, these are green onion tops, and that's just for a garnish later. We have some bay leaves right here. We have some tomato. You can use tomato paste. I'm sorry. <laughs> you can use tomato sauce, or you can use crushed tomatoes. Uh, over here, we have our homemade shrimp stock and some Zatarain's crab boil. We're going to spice it up with some salt, a little cayenne pepper, some thyme, and some uh, Paul Perdome's uh, seafood magic. Um, I used to love using Frank Davis's seafood seasonings, but um, you know, Frank passed away some years ago and you can't really get those anymore. But uh, anyway, the star of the show is this right here. We have about three pounds of beautiful shrimp um, and we have some cracked crab. These are uh, all that yellow. That's the fat. And uh, we don't want to get rid of that. So if you buy cracked crabs or crabs and you, you know, clean them yourself, please do not get rid of the fat. So you know what? We have everything here. Let's start cooking. The first thing I'm going to do is add in my oil. That's some vegetable oil. I already preheated my pot, so it ought to be a little pretty hot. I'm going to add in my sausage. Uh, you can hear it sizzling now. The slime in the okra is actually very good for you. It's been known to lubricate the inside of your veins. Look that up, it's true. So okra is good for you. So now that we have our sausage on its way to being browned, and it's browning uh, slightly here. We're gonna add in all of the okra. And with our heat on high, we're just gonna continue to stir until when you pull your spatula out, you don't see the slime drip off. Some people add a little vinegar. You can do that. It'll help reduce the slime. It's not really necessary. I'm going to go ahead and continue to cook this. And then when it's time to start adding the additional ingredients, we'll come back. I want you to see, you see the liquid dripping off the bottom there of the spoon? Watch this. Okay, watch. There's no slime. I turn my heat back up because now I'm going to add in a splash of white wine. You can see the bottom of the pot starting to get dark and I want to deglaze that and the wine is going to do that for me. I didn't really have that in my recipe but I needed to have it. So I added it in. It's, it's not really a lot but I'll tell you, it wouldn't hurt to have a quarter cup. Okay, 
So at this point, we're gonna add in the onion. My green onion. Celery. And garlic. Now this is gonna take a little while to simmer. I'm gonna add in some parsley. And we're gonna simmer this down. This may take another 10 to 12 minutes. And we're just gonna sweat all of this down and let it get real soft. At this point, I'm gonna add in a pinch of salt because we all know that adding a little salt helps to sweat the, the veggies down. Once again, we'll keep stirring and we'll come back when the vegetables in this pot are ready for the next step. It's time to add in about half of the roux that we made. This is, this is probably about a cup, so I'm gonna add in about a half a cup of roux right now. Oh boy, does that look good. Oh yeah. And you know, don't, uh, don't be too concerned. If you, if you add it a little bit more, it's no big deal. So here we go. We're just gonna fold all that in. Well, not really folding, I'm mixing. But we will incorporate that roux into the vegetables. And you know, part of making a gumbo is stirring, stirring, stirring. You gotta stir a lot. Okay. So, ooh, I could, I could smell that, that nuttiness of the flour coming. Oh my God, is that smelling good? Okay, so the next step is to take the stock that you have and add the stock in. Okay, we're gonna add all of the stock right now. But because this is my homemade stock, I have to stir it because there's a lot of what we call debris and it settles down to the bottom. You know, when you have the opportunity to make your own stock, <laughs> that's what you have. You, you, got, you get intense flavors, and that's what makes a good homemade gumbo so good. And we're gonna turn the fire back up. And I'm not through adding yet. But you know, you have to keep stirring, right? So let's add in a few more things. We're gonna add in our tomato. This actually is my Alta Cucina plum tomatoes that I chopped up. And I'm gonna add in the sausage at this point. And uh, let's stir it up. And let's get it back to where I can simmer it for about 10 minutes. I'm looking at the consistency right now as it's heating up and I can tell you we're gonna need a little bit more water here so now I do have a little bit more stock I'm gonna add that if you don't have any more stock you can just add water look at that rich brown color isn't it beautiful we reserve some roux because you can always add a little bit more a spoon at a time and and thicken it as you like it i don't know if we're going to need to do that this is looking pretty good so at this point we're going to add in our bay leaves and we're going to start adding in some some seasonings to spice it up a little bit let me stir in my bay leaves while it's heating up. Oh, that looks good, it smells wonderful. I'm gonna add in about two tablespoons of this seafood seasoning. Just dumping that in. Um, we're gonna add in a teaspoon of fresh thyme. Well, I'm sorry, we just bought it so it's it's dried time, but it's fresh. Well, don't let it confuse you. 
um, about a half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. So, yeah, that, that's pretty good. We don't want to burn everybody out. But it's great to add to the flavor. It brings the flavor out. And now a couple of tablespoons, maybe one. We'll start off with one of the liquid crab oil. This is pretty potent stuff, so we're just going to go with one for right now. And now we're going to stir all of that in. We're just going to put the lid on and let it simmer for about 15, 20 minutes. I only wish you were here to smell it. It is amazing. Mm, take a look at this. It's been simmering now for about 15 minutes and it is smelling so good. It looks great. The uh, consistency is wonderful and I I gotta tell you, it tastes wonderful too. So at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and put the crabs in. Just gently let them babies go right in there. And later when you see those crabs, all that fat is gonna become a part of the gumbo. You won't actually see the fat on the crabs anymore. And now, all of the shrimp. You know, when you're serving a bunch of people, you really want to cut up the big, big shrimp. If they're medium to small, hey, you know, leave them like they are, but you want everybody to get some shrimp. And that's really where I'm coming from. So, I'm gonna go ahead and the rest of these in. Okay, making a lot of noise here. You know, this is, it's just about finished really. So the seafood is in the pot now and I don't really need to keep stirring it around. It's all under, turn the heat up, bring it back up to a little bubble, turn it down to simmer. I'm gonna let this simmer for about 20 minutes. I want everything to cook, all those flavors to blend together. Right now, it is, it's heading in the direction of being the best gumbo I think I ever tasted. So I promise you, this is gonna be good. See you in about 20 minutes. Mmm, oh man, I cannot wait to put some Gumbo crabs in my plate. Woo, look at that. Oh, look at that. That's beautiful. Mmm, get me a little gravy to go with that. Yes. Some shrimp. All them wonderful flavors. Oh, man, that is looking so good. Just a little bit more of that wonderful gumbo. I'm going to put a little bit of that some green onion on top, because I love green onion. And now it's time to taste it. I cannot wait. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. I'm like, my mouth is just running water. I cannot wait to eat this. Mm -hmm. mm. Wow. This is an amazing, amazing recipe, you guys. Wow. Mmm. The shrimp and the that little bit of smoked sausage in there. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my goodness, I'm getting the goosebumps. It's that good. Mmm. 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 That gumbo was so good. It's absolutely amazing. It's a great recipe. I hope you give it a try. If you like our recipes and you like our videos, I hope you do. Please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and hit that notification bell. Have a great week. Go get you some great seafood gumbo, and God bless you.